What's up guys, I'm Vortec, and it is base upgrade day here in Mechanica. And, oh man, it's, it's kind of long overdue. So I've been holed up at Jeff, which is this big abandoned ship in the middle of the desert, uh, for some time now, for several videos now. And I haven't really set this up in any reasonable kind of way. Everything I've done is very temporary, and uh, now I'm kind of interested in getting set up with a proper base. Uh, I don't have a ton of time today though, so we'll just kind of get started today, I think, and we'll see where we end up. The first thing I wanted to do was just start decking out my, uh, my little house, I guess you could call it, that I've kind of started building up here. Uh, I need to get walls, first of all, and windows. Uh, probably mostly walls, maybe. Maybe we'll do like one window. Uh, we'll get a glass pane here. And we just need to seal this in. Now, why build a platform, a little, a little building, on an otherwise secluded ship? Why don't I just live on, on the top deck? Uh, this is just to kind of separate myself from the outside world even further. I don't necessarily trust my uh, my barricades <laughs> and I, I think also it would just be nice to have like a home away from home right uh, I'm, I'm always gonna be up here this is gonna end up being like a workshop kind of area and in here I can cook and I think we're gonna put a lot of storage in here as well so that's kind of the the idea I guess uh, so let's see I'm gonna put walls in there and there I'm going to put I think another did I do glass there we go. I'm going to put another window here. So this is going to be kind of like a, a sitting area, obviously. And I don't need to leave to craft this. I'm, I'm so used to using crafting tables. If you didn't know, if you're not following me on Twitch, I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing. So I'm always looking for a crafting table when I need to craft something. Uh, let's see. So put a window there. If you have been enjoying my videos, by the way, much appreciate you. And uh, if you have subscribed or if you're thinking of subscribing... Very much appreciate that as well. It's been a lot of fun playing Mechanica. I'm at the point in the game now where uh, I've I've just kind of been enjoying what's here. Uh, there's there's a lot to do in an otherwise very much still in development game, and I've been kind of on the edge of my seat waiting for um, waiting for updates. They're going to eventually be putting a whole bunch of stuff beyond that bridge on the other side, and I am thrilled about that. I can't wait to have more stuff to explore. And in the meantime, it's been cool to just set some stuff up and get ready for those types of updates. Uh, here, let's grab some more roof filler. So, here we go. I'm gonna put this right in here, and then this one in the opposite. There we go. Cool, other than a door, this is nice. It, it kind of feels separate. So what I've been doing is, well, I've been killing a lot of these little robots. I've been collecting a ton of robot chassis. I've been kind of just sorting my uh, <laughs> my everything out. I have, I had a food shortage. It was just in my personal inventory. I went and grabbed my oven. I ended up dying. I don't know if that happened in a video or not, but I ended up dying. I ended up back at my old base. So I grabbed my oven, my stove, and I've been making muffins with it. One thing I haven't had time to do in the base, or I haven't had time, one thing I've been too lazy to do here at the base is set up my uh, my nice convenient signs that tell me what's going on. So these two switches and signs correspond to the two buddy bots I have running out in the desert. They are making fuel right now, and uh, I've been collecting a lot of copper and iron and every so often I turn them off and I'll turn them back on when I'm starting to run low on fuel. I am running low on fuel, so I've turned them back on and realized, oh wow, I've never set any, uh, <laughs> I've never set any screens here. I, I put them there, but I never did anything with them. So basically the way I have it working right now is, uh, if you haven't seen my tutorials on this before, now's your chance to kind of get reacquainted. And it works a little bit differently than the way I did it in the past. Uh, so essentially what we're doing in the buddy bot is checking for has power. And uh, what that does with the small screen is changes the text and the text color. So I just put these down here twice, text and text color on the same screen. Um, we're going to make one of the text colors green. We're gonna leave the other red. And this one's buddy number two. So we'll say buddy number two active. And then buddy number two dead this is all up to you obviously you could put whatever you want and whatever color you want in these uh but we, we want to connect them like that and then the way this works is we right click we we get a branch 
And all we're doing is checking for the condition of has power. If this buddy bot has power, then one of two things will happen. Or if it doesn't has power. If, if, if power changes ever. If it has power, buddy bot 2 active green text is what's displayed. If he doesn't, then dead. And it tells me, so I don't have to go check. And then I set up a wait timer every five seconds. It, this, these will filter into here, and when it's done after five seconds, it's just going to keep running the command over and over again through that one branch. And all you do to start this is right-click, run, and there we go. And now we see that the screen is already green. I didn't have to turn the switch on or off. Uh, now, the only thing with that program is if I do turn a buddy bot off, the screen stays as active. And if I was, you know, less lazy, I could probably work around that too, so it... it does a different set of text, maybe. Uh, maybe I am feeling less lazy. Let's see. So, if the switch is off or on is basically what you would do. But, eh, nah, I'm lazy. Now, it is getting dark, and I have been told that uh, when it gets dark, it is hard to see the videos. It's, it's starting to get hard to see for myself, too. I wonder if the new update kind of made it darker in general. Uh, so I want to set up some lights around the base. Obviously, that's going to be something we should uh, we should have been doing a long time ago. So we're going to do that now. I'm going to grab some, uh, some various lighting objects, and we're just going to hook them up to a very basic switch. But this is this is kind of like part of, you know, just putting furniture around, right? Uh, let's see here. So what I'm thinking of doing is putting lights just kind of around the base uh, inside the ship here because when it's dark I would like to find myself some projects to keep myself busy right so I think what we can do is just put some lights there and then these I think would look good kind of lining the floor I, I did not make enough at all um, but maybe we can kind of put them actually yeah that might look cool so maybe we'll put one it's it's all off kilter here should I just keep them crooked? Does it matter? Probably not. We'll put one there. We'll put one there. And we'll put one there. Okay, nice evenly spaced. And the same thing over here. I'll need to grab two more. Put one here. And then we'll put one here. Now this will light up the, the part of the base I'm going to be hanging out at the most. And instead of a switch, I think it'd be cool to set this up with a clock. So let's see if we can make a clock real quick. Sensors and inputs. Digital clock is going to require two batteries. I need to just craft a bunch of these things. Uh, sensors and inputs. And now I'm out of copper wire. So craft a bunch of that. <laughs> there we go. The clock is really cool. If you haven't seen this already, a, in another tutorial, I, uh, I covered how this works. But again, I was not using the right click to run before. Before I was using a button to run all of my different things and stuff. We do need to put the clock somewhere, so I'm gonna put it in here and just kind of put it backwards on a crate. It's not what I wanted. Um, how about like that, okay? And we're just gonna go around and hook this clock up to each light individually. And we'll program everything, I guess, in the clock, why not? So what I've done here is I went in through every single light and grabbed the toggle light command. And then I went into the clock and grabbed the is night value. We're gonna be checking if it's night. If true, toggle light. Oh, wait a minute. And then if false toggle light. This is why I use on and offs. We're gonna try this. I don't know if this is gonna work, but toggle the light, I guess. Let's see, there's probably a much easier way to do this, and everyone who's been playing Mechanica non-stop since it came out on Steam is face-palming really hard right now. I'm just sure of it, because I'm sure this is not going to work. Once it's done, run the wait timer again. Same deal. Loop it back. Keep checking if it's night over and over and over again. It is night now, so if this works, we'll know as soon as I right-click the... Uh, thing yeah check every six seconds run again right click <gasps> did it work yep it worked is night oh wait a minute it's gonna toggle the light every five seconds because it toggle yep i can't use toggle dang it 
Maybe, maybe there's a way to do it. But now I've just created this blinking beacon for all the robots to see. All right, excellent. I was trying to save myself the time, and I just cost myself more time. But anyway, if we run this now, as long as it's nighttime, all these lights should come on. Now, for those of you watching on YouTube, which compresses footage a lot, it should be a little bit easier for you to see now. Uh, of course, not when I'm inside the, the room, but uh, out here. It should be a little bit better. I could also do things like increase the brightness of these lights, change the color, all that fun stuff. But because there are so many, every single thing I do, I need to do to all of them, if I wanted to match anyway. And that's that's always a nice, fun thing to do. But at least now I have an open space where I can hang out and do things while it's dark. And of course, we can always drive around in the uh, what I call the RV. I guess not, because I'm trapped in here. We can always drive around in there. And it shouldn't be super dark, so that'll be nice. Maybe what we'll do now is get a lamp and hook it up to the same setup that we've just created here. In uh, If we go into decoration and display, we'll make a couple more batteries and put down a lamp or maybe two. Why not? Let's go crazy, right? We could put a lamp in here. And I am I don't actually have a lot of space in here. Huh. And we can put one right there. Why not? <laughs> can you tell that it's been it's been a long week for me? Alright, let's go into the lamp. And so yeah, all I did literally all I did was go on and off for every single light. And I put ons over here, I put offs over here. And because we have two, gotta find the other one. On and off. We zoom out even more so it becomes harder and harder to read. And begin ugh, programming all of these. Now the next thing you'll tell me is, hey, Vortec, you didn't need to hook up every single thing into the wait timer. If, if it works for one light, it'll work for all of them. And I would tell you, yeah. I I relearned that just now. Buddy bot number one is dead. All right. See, this is why this is why it helps to have these signs because I would have missed him probably. Maybe it's he's actually not that hard to see out there. Let's grab some more batteries and we can also check on our machines while we're at it. Now, what I don't have is a flashlight, so it's going to be hard for you guys to see. I think uh, what we could do though is while we're out there, maybe we could hook up some spotlights. That might be cool. Uh, to our machines? I don't, I don't know. Let's see. If I put a spotlight on the side of the boat, which is kind of, you know, curved, where, where's the machines? Let's see. I put one here, and like maybe one right here. This could be kind of cool. Uh, might be worth hooking up. I, I'm gonna, maybe I need to stand up there to, to get a better angle on him. What, what is it? Let's find our dead buddy bot, though, real quick and, and restore him to power. There we go. There we go. Sweet. I put those lights there so that I could shine something on the machines when they go down. And I think I can, yep, I can grab it from here. And I think the alarm clock is right there. And then there's this one right there. Perfect. So same deal, but yeah, fine, fine. I won't put, uh, I won't put the other end of the turn off into the wait timer because that's kind of a waste of time. And so now we have lights uh, on the underside of the ship, sort of kind of pointing to the ground a little bit. They're they're actually not as not providing as much as I had hoped they would, but it's working. It's okay. I like this though. I like that we're kind of decking out Jeff with all kinds of modern conveniences, and uh, I also like that <laughs> my traps are working beautifully. The robots are always dumb enough to come up to the same door every single time, which is also very nice. But yeah, okay, so this didn't hit the, the machines like I was hoping. Maybe maybe an increase of brightness will do it. Wow, yeah, we have a ton of iron. I'm going to put some more back in here just for the buddy bots. And then, again, I know it's hard to see. If we go over here... Oh, you're dead now. We can load everything up again. Are you okay? No. Our refinery is... <laughs> We're not making as much fuel as I thought. Oh, no. 
Are auto crafters out of batteries too? I keep forgetting that power is not infinite. I have to keep making batteries. So our buddy bots have been dropping ingots off. And it's <laughs> proving to be completely useless. That's why I have two. Now I remember we have one for each. We have one for the refinery and one for the auto crafter. Oh my gosh. All right. In a recent video, I went ahead and made what I'm calling an RV with this uh, speeder. And I haven't really gotten a chance to test it out in the wild. So I decided to take a, uh, a little trip while it's dark here to, uh, to the lighthouse. And now I'm parked outside and uh, I'm kind of just messing around a little bit because this is, this is what it's like to be able to farm wherever you are. This is really cool. So I, I have this farm. The only thing I don't have is a way to cook food. You, of course, the, the idea is you would only need to farm in kind of an emergency. Maybe what I do is I set up safe houses all over the place where I can stop, cook some food, all that fun stuff. But uh, being able to have the speeder and, you know, go wherever with it, stop, farm, store some stuff, and maybe maybe if there was more loot drops, I could come in here and loot some stuff. It's pretty cool. I, I think that's uh, that was a really fun thing to build, despite how much trouble it gave us. So I am uh, I just wanted to mess around a little bit today. I can see Jeff from up here, all lit up. That's cool. Pretty soon those lights should be going off because the sun is coming out. So that's cool. It's been a lot of fun messing around in Mechanica. I cannot wait to go exploring in the new area, and we have just the vehicle to do it. Um, and, and these little spy robots here are going to tell everybody about it. I don't need that. I don't need that. Get out of here, man. All right, guys. I'm out. I'll see you next time.